Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back for another Swedish tank destroyer video. There's going to be a lot of them because there's two entire lines of tank destroyers in the Swedish tank tree, so it's going to happen a lot. This one being the Panzer Vjarnskanon Wagen 2. Yeah, I think I actually got that name right, or at least I got all the syllable constructs right. I don't know that I pronounced it right, but anyway, and we might as well stay here on the stat card. 75 millimeter long barrel uh, cannon. We got 14 down, 17 up, 9.6 degrees on the turret rotation speed. It does actually have a turret. 10.6 on the reload rate, so about standard for other tank destroyers. 26.7 miles per hour max speed, about standard for all the tank destroyers so far. Max efficiency, 2 to 4 rank. And uh, let's see, max repair cost, 1880 right now. So, all right, let's take a look at them modifications. Pretty standard. You've got a solid shot until tier four where you get the tactical nuclear detonation round, which is the round you definitely want to unlock as fast as you can. All other modifications being pretty standard, you want to get to this thing as fast as possible. Forgot to close those down. Oh well, no big deal. Uh, let's take a look at the X-ray. The armor, not really gonna do much for you because it is not a casemate, so they had to have some rotational business going on there. There's not a lot. You may stop one or two shells that hit you in the uh, hull, but stuff's going to go right through that turret. Not meant to stop much outside of machine gun rounds. Also, you may notice it's another open top, so bear that in mind again. As far as the x-ray, five crew members. you got a loader sitting down trying to keep his head from popping up above the uh, get shot spot. We've got a bow machine gunner, so five crew members ain't the worst thing in the world. We do actually have a bow machine gun. There's no coax, but there is a bow machine gun, so that's nice. Okay, on to the camouflages. We got the standard quadricolor for 234 kills. We've got the standard tricolor stripe for 126 kills. We've got the standard bicolor winter for 180 kills, and we've got the standard unicolor winter for the standard 200 golden eagles. That is that. Um, this thing I'm a bit excited for because that cannon's got some power to it. So, uh, let's get it into battle. Okay, we got 20 rounds of ammo. It's a little more than half of the, what, like, the... It's 32 rounds of ammo total? Pretty sure. Yeah, 32 rounds of ammo total, so we brought a little more than half of that. All right. Alright, trying to get in position to watch down onto A here. I don't see any M22s or any little M2A4s or any little speedy boys going after it. Huh. Oh, there we go. There's one right now. Speaking of... We're gonna have a chance at him. Well, I got his track and his engine. Just barely. He doesn't know where it came from. Boy, solid shot, man. Yipe. Ah! Looks like he put the fire out. Alright, goodness gracious. There we go. You can only get five shots at someone so long. Hey, buddy. Could you, uh, see if I can request repair help? Can I? Are we able to repair? Or do we have to go capture a point? I guess we have to go capture a point. Can you come help me repair? Man, can you can you come help me repair? Got a boy. Thank you. 
checking my gun barrel. Goodness gracious, it looks like a uh, fiberglass tent pole or fishing pole that shattered. He's even firing smoke off. Thank you very much. That a baby. Alright, thanks, man. Here they come. Sherman right in front of us. We're not going to get up over the... Whoa, what the heck just happened there? The gun depression looks pretty good. We're going to go try and test it out here. Maybe the uh, Sherman won't be expecting me to push up. Oh my god. Well, I see the one directly to the right, but I have to shoot this guy. I see the one directly in front of me here. Oh my god, does he not see me? He doesn't know. I'm not going to question that little gift from the snail gods. I don't know how that is possible. Huge thanks to my teammate, my squad mate for repairing me though. Where's that heavy that I saw? There was a heavy back there, but I guess it's gone. Did the house just fall over right there? Sure did. gun. There we go. Huge thanks to my random squad mate for repairing me. You the man, Pluxa. There's... It's a KV-1. It's, oh, sugar. Cap and also take that KV-1 if we can. There he is. He doesn't seem like he's aware. Got his engine. He's on fire. Got to get a reload here. Got to get a reload. Needed that reload! Ah! Oh, I knew I was staring at him and I wasn't looking to my right, but I was just waiting for that reload. He burned out. Ah. Uh, boy, my team really didn't show up for that one. About here down, gone in one death. Ugh. Huge, huge thanks to Pluxa1596 for repairing me. Thank you. I would have had one kill if it wasn't for this guy giving me the teammate, squad mate repair. So big, big, big thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And let's see how we did for research there, because uh, with... Seven kills, I think it was. Because he blew up on the, uh, no, it was six. Was it six kills? It was six kills, okay. Six kills because the uh, KV-1 burned down. So let's see how we did for research there. Not a bad first battle, if I do say so myself. Well, we've got just enough to get FPE, so we'll do that. Because that does help us get closer to the uh, M43, uh, 
APCBC round. So we'll take that and then we'll take suspension or adjustment of fire. I think we'll take suspension next. Okay, Battle 2 coming up. Alright, well after that debut, let's see if we can do anything better in Battle 2. I didn't mean for that to rhyme, but it did, so get over it. <laughs> Alright, we'll follow our PVKV brother here. Why wouldn't I follow him? He's a hero. Come on, climb! Target undamaged. That's something else. Loader, you got a man. You got a. My God. How can the reload take that long? It was the first shell. Also, however the hell the first shell didn't kill that thing. The gun depression is pretty fantastic on this, I'll tell you what. Nice! Beautiful! That was fantastic! Oh, I was hoping he'd shoot the right guy. Got somebody right back here, too. Can't see him. Okay. Ah. Guessed right. A little higher. Well, that gave me a heart attack. Oh, got him. Hang on, buddy. Going with you. Where is he? There he is. Oh, we survived it. And the the gun could not elevate. The gun couldn't elevate. You got to be kidding me. drop. Yeah, that's my bad. I probably should have killed him there. Okay, teammates going up, thank goodness. Let's get a range estimate on that. They got him. Nice work, guys. Oh. Got one right there. Oh, there he is. 
Got his gunner in his loader. Pretty good hit. Another one off to the left somewhere. Probably behind a rock. Uh-oh. No! Get up the hill, get up the hill, get up the hill. Oh! Oh! That might find its way into, uh, don't let Jimmy's be James 20, I think. That's one of the better snapshots I've ever pulled off. <laughs> I doubt that was as close as it looked from here. But it was pretty cool. Oh, I'm trying to fire! Gun, why couldn't you come up faster? So, through two battles, I'm 10 and 1 in the uh, PVKV2. It, it, may, it may be so that I like driving this thing. Wow, let's see what kind of uh, research we made there. So, we'll definitely take elevation. That's a huge one. We'll take adjustment of fire, because that's pretty important too. We want those to hit. And we'll start on crew replenishment because the reload gets pretty bad after that. One more modification to get us up to M43 rounds. Then we'll really go to town with this thing. Imagine not having to shoot people six times to kill them. This post brought to you by the AP B APCBC gang. Okay. Oh, hey, look. Huge shadows. It's almost like the sun is going to be right on the horizon again. The shadows are going to be an issue and make it very difficult to see. What? What? What fun? Climb, 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 climb. Got his engine in track. Kill assist. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to get through the ram. I really wanted that side shot on him. Maybe try to get through his... I don't think he sees me though. I'm gonna try one more for his turret face. Or that works too. We're still covered from the left side for now. Pair of assists is okay. It sure is gonna be sweet to get the APC BC though. Boy! Shell drop though. Got him. Twelve rounds left, we're moving in.
him. Now it's a race between the loader. Okay. left first. I'm going to have to deal with what's to the left before I can deal with what's on A. Got enough ammo. It's a question of... Jesus. Commander and machine gunner only. That's fantastic. We got a two-on-one happening here. I don't like that at all. He doesn't know where he got hit from. We gotta go around. We have to go around the church, which is the worst possible thing to have happen right now. Alright, the M10 is down. Good. Come on. Come on, baby. Get around there. Get around there. Back all over A, that's good. Come on. Got him. <sighs> so much mud there. That thing has so much trouble moving through mud and the crappy soft terrain. It's awful. God, it's so frustrating. I want to just go. Now that right there, folks, is what you call in the business a GG. Wow, we're making that an entire video, so this video will be up so that you can all see it. Okay, let's see how we did. Certainly knocked that out. 3156. Not quite enough to spade it out, which is mildly unfortunate, but now the big question is, do I go for the engine or do I go for tracks and horizontal? Um... I'm going to go I'm going to go for the engine and then I'm going to put a lot of it into tracks. All right. One more battle at least. Well, APC BC time. Up gun. Yeah, I didn't like that shot. Alright, loader, he doesn't know where we are! Okay, we got tracks. And we got enough points for... Um, we'll try transmission. Well, we'll go with filters because it'll be less research. 
Okay, um, decisions, decisions. We'll try it. <laughs> I'll save you, little buddy. Well, sorry, didn't quite save you. But almost. backed up right as I fired. Alright, let's get that hull down going. Stop. That's not good. Seven hundred, huh? 700 seems pretty good to me. Alright, a little, little off on the range finding there. Come on. There we go. That's the shot we wanted. Taking B. Good work, guys. We're going to relocate. Holy God! <laughs> and that didn't go through. That shot didn't go through. Come on, loader! And that one didn't do anything to him. Thank you. That's hilarious. I repositioned, I just didn't quite reposition fast enough. Okay, well, they know we're here, so this is gonna make things very interesting. pretty good so far. Most of them are still alive. One down, another one coming. Got his driver. That ought to make him easy pickings. Okay, he's down. Now we got this guy up here. Let's range find to there. Five fifty, huh? Where'd he get to? I did not see that flag post for a second. That got a little scary. Oh, he's still there. Okay, well. Should we go and cap Alpha, or should we hang here for a minute? I think we hang here for a minute. Nah, the heck with it. Artillery fire, eh? All right. Got a hit on him. Can we deliver a follow-up hit on him? Oh, dear. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeet. 
he's still there. I see his radio antennas. So I think I do. Ah, oh, man. Got doinked. Somebody was up there. It looks like he's down. Yep, we're not going to get another kill, but that wasn't too bad. Let's see how we did. Alright, that's enough to spade it out. Let's get a spaded battle to finish this whole thing. Okay. Let's see if we can't wrap this up. takes a minute to settle. I love how much smoke it makes from tracers hitting me. How does that make so much smoke to completely block my vision? turret. Come on, turret. Oh, boy. Here we go. Nope. Really? Come on. Come on. Come on. Get over it. Get over it. Get over it. Get over it. There we go. Come on. Jeez. Everything's got to be an ordeal. Everything's got to be an ordeal in this in the snow. They get into. They're dead. They got him. Oh, this is a problem. Did they get him? Looks like they got him. So where did that just come from? Top of the hill. Again, with the machine guns completely blocking my view is just ridiculous. The machine guns blocking my ability to see through the gun sight is just foolish. Foolish, foolish, foolish. Party that, please, guys. Yes, 
Come on, gun. Come on, gun. I swear there was a second one up there. Maybe I was wrong. I thought I saw a second one, but I may not have. Did I get an assist on him? I didn't get an assist. Okie doke. Definitely getting a new crew member. Now we're getting out of here. Alright. Let's be off. is down. We got some kind of an SPA or something over there. SPG, I think. Stop! That was scary. Come on, man. Near the point doesn't help. have somebody up here on the high ground or something. Right there. Got him. Stig, Stig, help! Stig, get him! Dig. Boy, man. You hear this teammate getting hit and you hear an enemy blasting away and you just sit there and hide. You could have killed him. Alright. Battle ended about five seconds after I got killed. <laughs> but that's not too bad. Alright, let's get some closing thoughts. All right, so the Panzer, wait, hang on, Panzer, <laughs> Panzer Vjarns cannon wagon. I couldn't remember the Vjarns part. There we go. The PVKV2. It's quite fun. I've seen a lot of people having not a good time with the stock AP round. I had a great time with it. My biggest problem was not having parts. So thanks once again to the random squad mate who helped me out in battle one and allowed me to rip off five more kills after I lost my gun barrel. That was phenomenal. And, uh, yeah, not, not bad. Not bad overall. Um, yeah, your mobility is not phenomenal and your turret rotation is not phenomenal and your gun elevation is something on the much worse end of not phenomenal. But once you get it all spaded out, it's not too bad. You still got to you still have some problems with the gun elevation. Now, that's not... I mean, I'm not saying that it shouldn't be that way because look how long that gun barrel is. It's going to take a minute for that great big pendulum weight. So, I mean, I understand why it's like that. Also, quite a few times, I've been hit with machine guns from the front and it's killed a bunch of my crew inside, which is a little bit annoying. But then at the same time, I don't know. Like, I mean, the front gun shield, if it's not going to stop machine gun bullets, what's it there for? Like, it has to be. It has to stop machine gun bullets. But whatever, 
The gun is good with the stock ammo. It's great with the upgraded ammo for sure. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Good luck to all of you with your 3.3 PVKV2s. I hope you all have as much fun as I did with it. And we'll see you all next time. Thank you all very much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, everybody. Be safe out there.